idea of doing that intro was a much better idea in my head. Hello, how are you guys all doing? My name is Lock Rawls and welcome to another build tutorial. So, some of you seem to be really enjoying this build tutorial series. Brandon D asks to build a farm. So since it fits in well to what me and the rest of the build team are currently working on, I thought why not do a farm for today's episode. And I've even got this one here started for me already, uh, which is absolutely great. Uh, the majority of the farm here was in fact made by Tim and Python, two of the other builders on the server. But the windmill, however, that was made by myself and I even did a tutorial for it. So if you'd like to see that, a link should be coming up on the screen now. So um, yeah, we're gonna go finish this farm in today's video. So let's get to it. What I am going to be doing is over the back there, I'm going to make a farmhouse. We're going to put a couple more details into our farm as well. I'm fairly sure you guys don't need to see me placing a wheat farmer. I trust you will probably be on that stage. I'd like to hope so anyway. So I don't really want to make a tutorial on that. But maybe you're new to Minecraft. Um, all you do is you get hoe some seeds um, and you plant the seeds and then you get some bone meal like so. And there you have, you have some wheat. Uh, I'm fairly certain nobody here needs to watch me making it big farm, doing all of that along the way, filling it all with wheat. So we're going to skip that skip. What we have done, additionally, is we've gone around the wheat, placing some slabs and some cobblestone walls, creating an enclosure. Um, and, you know, that creates a cool transition between the grass and the farm. Um, but what I am going to do, and what our farm does need, is we need a scarecrow to scare away any nasty crows coming to eat our lovely crops. Oops, I just got rid of my fence there. Um, so, um, yeah, we're going to create uh, a pump, sorry, a scarecrow using a pumpkin and some fences and some trapdoors to create our scary man. Have a bit of trouble as you can't place um, a certain block. So, yeah, we'll just do that and then um, create it like so and then cut with some arms. Oh, oops. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. And uh, we'll just place some trapdoors on top. And we have a scary man to scare away any nasty crows that are going to come along. So there we go. We've added a little bit of detail. And this is our barn. We're just going to jump inside. I could make a tutorial for this. Showing you how to make a cool barn. Uh, maybe for the next episode if people want it. If not, I'll, I'll skip that stage. And we'll just go to our farmhouse. Um, so we've got some wheat. Um, and then we've got some paths. Um, we've got some hay barrels. Um, we've got a cart as well. Um, which I might make later on. So I'm just going to grab all the materials I'm going to need to make this farm. I'm just going to start it over about here. We're just going to place the foundation and just sort of try and map it out. So just how map out how big I want it. Um, so this is going to be sort of like the front of the farmhouse. And what I am going to do is I'm going to make a bit of a porch area as well. So we're going to have a porch around about here. Um, and then uh, if we carry on along, and this can be the porch area. Um, one, two, three, four. Or five and that'll probably be enough um, so this will be the porch um, and that will be the main bit of the house and then these two bits will connect on and connect together so we're just going to build this up uh, and try and um, you know try and map out roughly how we want it what I have done which I normally don't do is normally I build it straight on a flat surface and then paste it into the world but I'm gonna build it naturally into the land um, hopefully that'll work well um, I mean, either way, you're going to have it built into the land. Um, it looks more natural this way. So we're just going to create the porch area. Um, just going to have this... Uh, you need to connect these two bits up. 
So it's going to build this across. All of this is going to be our porch area, which we can, I don't know, sit and smoke pipe weed or whatever we want to do on the porch area. Um, and then, ooh, I want this to look a little bit more natural. Um, what we are going to use, we're going to use some wall um, for the main bit of the house. And we're just going to create a window here. Oh, just create that window. And then we probably want to have a second window about here. Actually, we could create, we don't want it that low down. Create a second window. And then we'll do the roof. And we'll have a roof about there. And we'll just build that bit up. And build up on the other side. Uh, what else? Actually, we'll go a bit higher. Like so. I think that'd be better. And then we'll create the roof on top. This is roughly how we're going to have it looking. Okay. Right, so that's the front of the house then. Um, we're just going to put a bit more detail into the roof. I always like to have these upside down slabs underneath the roof. Um, so let's work on the rest of the house now. So that's going to be the sort of tower part of it. Um, this bit here is I guess in a way that the main part of the house is where the entrance is going to be um, and what, I don't know, I, I always see this being the main part underneath the, the porch. Um, actually I think this should go a bit further along, I think it's a bit too short there. So just increase it by one block and increase it over onto the other side. Um, and then we just increase a bit of height here. Actually we need that to go further along now because we um, moved it all over her. Um, and just get some wall and then put some wall in there and then create a bit of a roof and then we'll just build this up have wall all along um, what else should we do uh, let's do this side bit in here we'll just have this coming along here um, okay um, and then just crease that further along put all wall in there and then over to the other side um, right, okay, let's actually work on the porch bit, so we'll build that up, and then we can have it starting about there, just coming along, and then that can, I don't know, increase by one block each time, so just build it up, like so, and then we just have this coming along, this is the decking area. Oops, I do see you there. We've got Adam, one of our builders, spying on me, watching what I'm doing. Oh, he's very devious. Maybe we can all think of a way we can get rid of him together. Hmm, what could we do to get rid of Adam so we can build him peace and quiet? Hmm, might just have to let him. I'm only joking, Adam. I am only joking if you're watching this video. I'm sorry. People always seem interested when I'm recording, it seems like. It's probably my fault for not telling anyone that I'm recording. But either way, it's happened, uh, this is the second time on my Brie video, um, we had a load of builders watching what I was doing while I was recording. Oh, we've left now. Um, we might have got away with that this time. Um, okay, so this is the porch, um, and then we can have that coming down. And maybe we can create, I don't know, a bit of a, a path here. Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't really think wood is the right material, but it'll do for now. Um, it's just something. Um, and then we'll just build this up. Um, I think we need to come over to the other side because we need to know how wide we're going to want it. Um, I'm just going to try and map it out. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Roughly thirteen. That's roughly how wide we're going to want it. Um, and then just going to build that up here. And then just work out roughly in our head how this is going to look and how we're going to try and map this out. Um, uh, sorry, I've got a plane going over. I don't know if you can hear that in the mic. I do apologise. You can temporarily hear a plane. My microphone seems to pick everything up. Um, okay. And then just have that coming along. This plane seems to be taking forever to go over. Um... Oh, we've got now, and then we can 
meet up about here with the rest of the roof. And then we can do this level. Oh, look, coming along. And meeting up here. All of my tutorials seem to be, the majority of it, are just working on doing the roof. Uh, and I always seem to mess it up and make errors and I think to delete the blocks, place them in the wrong place. <laughs> Constant battle. There we go, done it again. Con ah. Okay, and then over to this side. Coming along. I have decided that I'm not going to be doing the interior in this video. Um, I think otherwise it's going to end up being way too long. What I will do though is I'll do a bit more. I'll do a bit more detail on the farm. Um, I feel like if I don't, then the video is going to be too short. And if I, well, by not doing interior, it's, if I did interior, it'll be way too long. So we're not going to do interior in this video. We've got another video where we did some interior. You can watch that if you want to see some tips on interior. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do a bit of detail on the farm. Maybe we can create a cart. Um, just something that we can, I don't know, put in to bulk up the video a little bit. I think. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here now. I'm just creating a staircase down, just so we can map out roughly how we're going to be having the roof of our house. Um, I'm just looking at it there, just trying to double check that I've got the right shape. Um, what I have done is I've made a mistake and I've got this too far. It needs to come one more along, um, because it needs to overhang slightly. So I'm just going to have to do that and just go around and just change everything. Um, I'm going to have to delete all the bits coming in, because again, that's going to be part of the wall. Um, so, oh well, um, doesn't really matter too much. But that's roughly how it's going to look. Uh, we're just going to build this along, just create some details to the side of the house. Um, yeah, that looks okay. I'm fairly happy with that. What I am going to do is I'm just going to come along here and I'm just going to create a few patterns to the side of the house just by um, placing um, block intervals, um, some cool patterns onto the side of the house um, and then we can fill that in with wall just fill all of these holes in so we've just got some checkered pattern um, that looks okay uh, and then we can I don't know create a bit of a design up here for the rest of the house um, what can we do maybe we can put that up there um, could go up even all the way along Place all of this. Um, how will that look? Mm, just come along. We're just going to place all of these, all the bits that we missed out on. Get rid of that. Place it over there. Um, do I want that all the way along? Uh, no. Okay. Just fill all that in. And then down here. Okay. That will do. And then just quite a bit of detail. And then a bit more detail in here. Actually, there we go. And then come along there. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's alright. We'll live with that. So, yeah, we've just got to continue with the rest of the roof here now. But to do that, we kind of need to finish the rest of the house, otherwise it's not really going to work out. So I'm just going to try and map out how um, how far along this is going to do. And this is made more difficult because um, we're not, well, it's kind of built into the side of the hill here. So I'm just trying to work out where it goes, and that's going to be the corner. I'm just double checking. Um, there we go. That no nope, lines up there. There we go. <laughs> Oops. And then we're just gonna try and um, have this coming along, and that will come into here. Okay. So we're gonna have it like that. Um, and then, hmm. Just we we'll just put this further along here. Oh. And then have this joining up here. Would have been an idea if we did the skeleton first. But, oh well, we live and learn. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create um, another window here. Just trying to line that up. 
and then we could just do the same design roughly as we did at the front of the house but I think we should change it around slightly for one it's not going to be the same because um, well that the windows start at a different height because um, we can't start at the same bit because it's built into the side of the house um, we just have this coming along Okay, and overhang, oops, like so, and then we can do the next part, oop. come along, oop. <laughs> you know, I don't think people would believe me if I said that I normally don't have this problem when it comes to placing roofs when I'm not recording, it's only when I'm recording that I make all these mistakes, I normally seem to be able to do it flawlessly. Um, just the other day I was making the roof and you know I didn't have one mistake but you're not going to believe that because I've got no proof um, <laughs> it's only when I record but oh well um, it's tricky it's hard very hard to place roofs and talk to you guys at the same time <laughs> uh, yeah no one's going to ever believe what I say so yeah just to continue with this come along uh, meet that up and then we just could build this along oh <laughs> yeah you're definitely not going to believe what I say um, and have that coming along here and meet up here and then create the bit of detail um, meet up and then this can join up here and like so um, and then um, we can possibly join this up here if build that along oh and who oh. See, the roof there starts very low down compared to the other side because of the height difference. Um, oh, sorry, excuse me, one moment again to call on my phone. Okay, that can stop. Okay, let's just continue now. Planes and phone calls, very unprofessional, I know. Um, but what can you do? I guess I'm, I'm just, um, I'm, I'm just prone to planes flying over my house and people calling me. I don't know what don't know what's wrong. I, I just don't. <laughs> anyway, just continuing with this roof. Uh, we're nearly done now. So uh, once we've done this, we can work on doing a bit of detail to the house. Um, and then also we can do a bit of detail to the rest of the farm as well. So um, yeah, nearly done with our farmhouse, which is very cool. Um, just got to do the rest of this roof, which is the majority of any build. It seems like doing the roof. So become very used to doing them now almost an expert apart from the fact that I keep making all these errors um, and then build that up oh. and like so and we want that overhanging as well so just, oh, just keep them going down and um, oh I just realized I haven't actually put in that bit there which is annoying because it means I got to get rid of all of this oh dear oh sorry guys you know oops I'm get rid of all that and then build that along and fill that in. Come over to this side as well, I'm going to trap myself. Um, fill that in there and then have this coming along and meeting up. There we go. And then all these upside down stairs. Um, we can probably create a bit of detail in here as well. Have that coming along. That looks like a face. I kind of like that, to be honest. Um, I do actually really like that. I don't know whether or not I should keep it or not. Um, better put uh, that in there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We've got a face. Uh, that is very really cool. Um, should I keep it? Should I not? Uh, I'll think about it. Um, just come along here. Put a bit of wall in. Um, and then we can create a bit of detail. Um, put that in there. That there, some wall in. Maybe you can come up here. Um, change that over. Um, no, I'm not going to keep it. Uh, I'll just change it slightly. Well, it still looks a little like a face, but not as much as before. Um, so just fly around, um, we can put something in here and have that oh, coming along there 
and we do something over the other side. Um, so yeah, uh, let's let's build this along now. Work on the final wall, and then we're done. And of course, we need to do the bottom. So just create some wall from along here. And then we can create some blocks. Uh, there we go. And just create some details. Fill that in. Place that coming up. And then the rest of the wall all along. Um, what I do need to do is I need to put some glass in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some white uh, stained and I'm just going to use some normal glass. I'm just going to place that in. Oh, made a mistake. And then I'm just going to have alternating, just two pieces there. So it's like some of the windows are clean and the rest of it's still kind of dirty. So um, we just place a few pieces. Uh, I keep making mistakes. Um, and then we can do uh, create another window here. That could just be normal um, stained. And that can have one clean piece. Um, and then we can go around the back and we can create the window here. Uh, like so. Okay. Uh, let's have one more. There we go. So our window's done. Just have a nice look at it from a distance. Fly over here and we've got the farmhouse in the distance. Um, not too happy with the detail we have here. I think we can do a bit more to the top here. Looks a bit plain right now. Um, how's that coming down? Like so. Uh, what else can I do? Maybe we can have some shutters. We we'll just put some few shutters, um, boxes, and trapdoors. Um, oh, there we go. Close it. <laughs> and then on the other side. Okay. Um, and then we can go around the back and put some shutters there. There we go. This creates the small details, I think, that really sort of give the build a little bit of an edge. Um, and then we got, yeah, our farmhouse next to our windmill, our barn. So yeah, you may have just seen the video just jump a little bit there. Um, what I'm going to do though, I'm going to make a cart that you just saw over there. Uh, just grab the materials I needed as well. So I'm just going to start with the wheel of the cart. So yeah, we're just going to upside down here to create the wheel. Um, with all the four corners of the stairs and then we've got a wheel um, and then we're just gonna have to do the other one on the other side um, and then we're just gonna have a gap of two um, this is gonna be the front of the cart this is gonna be the bit where it's gonna be pulled and then we're just gonna do another wheel same as before over the other side um, and then we're just gonna place a couple of stairs have this coming along um, three and then let's have this coming down and then two, and then we've got somewhere to pull the cart, um, and then just create uh, this coming along here, all the way. Um, is that going to be long enough? No, a bit further along. Have that there, I think. And then we can create the other wheel. Oh, we're going to do this upside down. Uh, there we go. And then the fourth wheel, because as you know, carts have four wheels, not three. Um, oh, there we go. And then we can, um, I don't know, feel the heavy feather along, I think, actually. It seems a bit too short. And then we can place a hay in um, to have some cargo for our cart. Um, fill this up. There, there we go. Uh, we don't really want that floating. How are we going to fix this? Maybe if we come further along and I'll just fill that in there. Um, hmm, how are we going to do it? Um, how about if it starts there? And then have that on the other side. And then we can just. Actually, that'll work better. And then we can just fill that bit in there. 
Right, we'll get rid of that. Fill that in. Just put something at the back to hold it in place. So I hope you liked the video guys, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Uh, maybe it's a cart, maybe it's a farmhouse. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.